So hi guys, at muling nagbabalik ang inyong engineer, Beno. At ako ngayon ay magsasolve ng iba't ibang problems regarding slope, inclination, and many more things. So let us start with the first problem. Find the inclination of the line passing through negative 5, 3, and 10, 7. Find the inclination of the line passing through negative 5, 3, and 10, 7. So kapag inclination yung pinag-usapan natin, that is m equals tangent theta. Yung theta na yan, yun yung inclination ng ating line mula sa ating x-axis. Okay? Binigyan tayo ng points, negative 5, 3, tsaka 10, 7. So from this point, we will find slope. m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So that is 7 minus 3 all over 10 minus negative 5. So this is equal to 4 over 15. Okay? So using this equation, 4 over 15 is equal to tangent theta. The arc tan along both sides and that you will get theta to be Fourteen point ninety three degrees. Okay. So, kung gusto ng region, hindi ko convert lang natin to papuntang region. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, the slope has a relationship with the inclination of the line through the x-axis. Okay. So, I hope it's clear to you. Moving on to the second problem, find the angle formed by by the lines 2x plus y minus 8 and x plus 3y plus 4. Find the angle formed by the lines 2x plus y minus 8 equals 0 and x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0. So if we are asked to find the angle between two lines, we need their slopes. Why? Dahil po yung formula ng angle between two lines that is equal to m2 or m1 minus m2 or m2 minus m1. Okay lang po magkabaligtad yun. All over 1 plus m2 times m1. From the previous video, sinabi ko sa inyo na kung makuha yung value ng angle ay negative, i-absolute value nyo lang po yun. And using this formula, ang lagi mong makukuha ay acute angle. Secondly, kapag walang sinabi kung acute or obtuse yung kukuhain, matik anong kailangan natin kuhain? Acute angle. Okay? So, yung binigay sa ating equation is 2x plus y minus 8 equals 0. Okay? To find the slope, that is just negative a over b. Do not forget that this is the standard or the general equation for the line. And that is ax plus by plus c equals 0. Or either way, nandito yung c sa kabila. So, yung A natin malinaw, that is equal to, neg uh, to positive 2. So, negative times positive 2 all over uh, coefficient of Y, which is 1. So, M1 natin is equal to negative 2. Okay? Then, yung second equation natin, X plus 3Y plus 4 equals 0. So, we find the m2, that's negative a over b also. So that is negative 1 all over positive 3. So that is m2 is equal to negative 1 third. Then we will be just using this formula. Tangent b is equal to m2 minus m1 all over 1 plus m1 times m2. Okay? Your M2 is equal to negative one third. So negative one third minus negative two all over one plus negative one third times negative two. So that is equal to positive one. Okay, so you have tangent phi 
is equal to positive 1, divide tan mo lang both sides, and that you will get that the angle between those two lines is 45 degrees. Okay? So again, this is the acute angle between these two lines. Pag ang sinabi ay obtuse, sige kuhain natin yung obtuse. Pag kinuha yung obtuse, sabihin natin obtuse, that is angle beta, that is equal to 360 minus 2 times phi all over 2. Okay? Kasi ganito po yan. Kung ito yung phi, ito yung phi, ito si beta, ito beta din. Vertical angles po kasi kaya equal. At ang sum ng lahat ng yan ay 360 degrees. Or kung medyo komplikado ito sa inyo, pwede na lang natin sabihin that beta is equal to 180 minus phi. Kasi as you can see, itong buong to ay isang straight angle lang. Itong part na to lang. So that's phi, this is beta, and their sum is 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna use this. So that's 180 minus 45, that is equal to 135 degrees. So if in case, ang pinahanap sa atin ay yung obtuse angle or angle kapag American, so ito yung obtuse, okay? So either way, tama naman yun. Okay? So please copy. Let's continue solving the problems. What is the acute angle between the lines y equals 3x plus 2 and y equals 4x plus 9? What is the acute angle between the lines y equals 3x plus 2 and y equals 4x plus 9? So we are given the equations of line 1 and line 2. Line 1, that is y equals 3x plus 2. And the second line is y equals... 4x plus 9. Okay? Do not forget na ano nga tawag sa form na to? This is what you call the slope intercept form. In the form of y equals mx plus b. Wherein m is a slope and b is what is the intercept. So kung ganun pala, sa line 1, kapag tinignan ko yan, y equals mx plus b, m is equal to 3. So, m1 is equal to 3. Well, kapag tinignan ko yung line to y equals mx plus b din yan, then, m2 is equal to positive 4. Okay? And gamitin ko lang ulit yung formula for the angle between two lines. That is, m2 minus m1 all over 1 plus m2 times m1. Again, okay lang magkabaligtad na m1 minus m2 kasi i-absolute value naman natin yung makukuha natin value na angle. So, that is equal to 4 minus 3 all over 1 plus 4 times 3. So, that is equal to 1 over 12. And then, i-artan ko lang both sides. Sorry, this is 1 over 12. And... The angle between those two lines is 4.76 degrees. Okay? Unang-una, binanggit na doon, acute angle yung kailangan natin. So, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin pa yung isang angle. Okay? Moving on to the next problem. If the straight lines AX plus BY plus C equals 0 and BX plus CY equals A are parallel, then which of the following is correct? If the straight lines AX plus BY plus C equals 0 and BX plus CY equals A are parallel, then which of the following is correct? A. B squared equals 4AC. B. B squared equals AC. C. B squared plus AZ equals 0. D. A squared equals BC. Okay? So, kuhain muna natin yung given. So, yung first equation natin is AX plus BY 
plus C equals 0. And then, gawin ko tong slope-intercept form. So, that is equal to dy equals negative ax plus, uh, minus C. Multiply ko both sides ng 1 over B. So, y is equal to negative a over b, x minus c over b. Okay? Next, <clears throat> Next for line 2, the equation is bx plus cy equals, I'm sorry, equals a, yes. And then, cy is equal to negative bx plus a. Multiply ko naman to both sides ng 1 over C. So, Y is equal to negative B over C, X plus A over C. Okay? So, sabi sa atin, itong dalawang linyang ito daw ay parallel. At kung babalikan natin ang theory and principle ng parallel lines, sinasabi doon that their slopes are equal. Okay? So, M1 is equal to M2. So, simulan natin dito para mahanap natin yung relationship. So, kung titingnan mo, dito sa line 1, di ba y equals mx plus b yan? Kung saan, itong negative a over b ang slope natin. So, m1 is equal to negative a over b. Next, kung titingnan ko yung sa line 2, yung slope naman natin ay negative b over c. So, negative b over c. Okay? Parehas may negative, makakancel lang po yan. And then, cross-multiply ko, b squared is equal to ac. So, this is the true statement among the choices. b squared equals ac. So, as you can see guys, you cannot solve this problem without knowing the principle or the theory with regards to parallel lines. Okay? Review, kapag parallel lines, slope are equal, kapag naman perpendicular lines, the, the relationship of the first and the second is that the first slope is equal to the negative reciprocal of the second slope. Okay? So, third example, the sum of the coefficients of x and y in the line ax plus by minus 15 equals 0 is 18. Find the coefficients of a and b if the slope of the line is 7. The sum of the coefficients of x and y in the line ax plus by minus 15 equals 0 is 18. Find the coefficients of a and b if the slope of the line is 7. Okay? So, sabi sa atin, meron daw tayong line na ax plus by minus 15 equals 0. Sinabi din sa atin na yung sum daw ng coefficients ng a and b, ah, ng x and y, so that is a plus b, is equal to 18. Sinabi din sa atin that slope is equal to 7. Hanapin daw natin yung a and b. Okay? So, a plus b equals 18. Pwede kong sabihin na b is equal to 18 minus a. Okay? While, the slope is 7, and the formula of the slope wherein involves a and b, that is equal to negative a over b. Okay? So, 7 is equal to negative a over b. Paltan ko si b ng 18 minus a. So, 7 is equal to negative a over 18 minus a. And then, cross-multiply ko, 7, 18 minus a, equals negative a. So, that is 126 minus 7a equals negative a. And then, 6a is equal to 126. And from here, a is equal to 21. Okay? So, b is equal to 18 minus a. Given that a is 21, so 18 minus 21, b is equal to negative 3. Okay? So, A is 21, while B is negative 3. At kung check natin, so, 
dapat ang slope ay 7, so m is equal to negative 21 divided by negative 3, so that is visibly 7. Okay? Kapag kayo ay may nasasolve na ganyan, i-check nyo din kung masasatisfy yung equation. Kasi kapag hindi po nasatisfy, ibig sabihin mali po yung pagkakasolve niya. Okay? So, please copy 